What's up guys, I saw an interesting question in Discord today, so I thought that I'd just make a quick video. And the issue is that they've created this multi-line text meta field, right? But you're not able to output it on the product page in Dawn theme here. When you add a text block, right, that comes with Dawn, when you add a text block, you're able to write something here, but again, you can't create like a bullet point list. You don't have that formatting option because it's not actually rich text. And when you go to insert a dynamic source, if you've already created a meta field that is a multi-line meta field or a rich text meta field, you won't see them here. You can only output single line of text, which is great for things like fabric, right? You know, where you have like one word like cotton, polyester or something like that. Uh, but it's not good when you want to do something like this where you have an entire bullet point list and you want this to be separate from the description, right? So here we have the product description and here we just have this text that we want to add using a meta field and output it here in a block. So I am of course using a custom liquid block to output this manually using liquid. Here I am on the product page and I've already set up my meta field just so you can see what it looks like. This is a rich text meta field type and it's got the full rich text editor. This is really useful and if you haven't used it yet, then you should definitely check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this now and we're gonna go through it together. First of all, we need to define the meta field. These are meta fields that I've used previously. Let's go to settings and then we're gonna go to custom data go to products and we want to create a new meta field called features. Okay, it's going to be a list of product features, which is different from the description. So I'm going to call it features, but you can call it whatever you want. Namespace and key is kind of like the ID that you would use to output this in code. So usually it's custom dot the name, right? But you can make it whatever you want, but you can leave it like this as well. I recommend writing a little description so you don't forget what this is. And then finally, we're going to select the type. Now, single line text, as I mentioned, is good for just a short bit of text. Multi line text will allow you to put uh, longer text blocks, but there's no rich text formatting. So you can't do things like a bullet point list. What you want is the actual formatting. So you want to use rich text, I think. So let's save that. And now this should appear on our product pages. So here we are on the product pages in the admin, I mean, and when we scroll down, now we can see this meta field. Okay. And here you can add anything you want. I'm just going to grab this from Amazon for the same product and paste it in here. And you can format it however you want. You can even use headings, right? That's what's awesome about the rich text. So let's save that. And now we simply need to output that to the page. So once again, we go here and we expect that we can select the text block and that this will be available in dynamic sources, but it's not. It's not available because this block can only accept text, can only accept a single line of text. It's not a rich text block. It's just a basic text block in Shopify. We could output it, of course, if we had a rich text block, like in the rich text section, for example, you can output that meta field here. So see, now you can see it. Now you can see features and it's output here in a section. So that's an option for you if you want. Okay, you can output it using the rich text section, but I want to output it inside of a block. So what I'm going to do, there is no rich text block here. I can either code my own rich text block. I'll show you that later, maybe. Uh, but the easiest way is the custom liquid block. And here I can output any meta field. So to access meta fields, you go product dot meta fields dot, and then the namespace and the key of the meta field. So custom dot features was the name of my meta field. And as you can see now, something is being output, but it's not quite right. It looks like it's JSON, right? Which is um, just how meta field data is stored. And what we need to do is actually use a meta field filter called meta field tag. All we do in Shopify liquid when we want to filter is use the pipe symbol. This is like where your backslash is shift backslash and it gives you a pipe and uh, type in meta field tag and that changes the output into uh, a normal HTML output. 
and now it looks fine. So that's all you need to do to output a rich text meta field onto your page using custom liquid. That's all for this video, just five minutes. I'm trying to make much shorter content than I usually do. I've even started a TikTok and an Instagram, so definitely follow me there if you like these kind of quick Shopify tips. My Instagram is ed underscore codes and my TikTok is ed dot codes. That's all for today, see you next time.